Well, that's a movie that, as I was watching it, I felt that the filmmakers were in danger. I felt that any minute that you know, the camera was going to go to black. Um, Quite you know, possible. It was a dangerous situation, yes. definitely. And the film did win an Academy Award, uh, as did her next film, American Dream. And even though she won an Academy Award for Harlan County, USA, she had trouble funding uh, her, her next film, which I found shocking. Um, well, it wasn't really. We all did. I mean, <clears throat> um, after Rosie, I couldn't get funding for a documentary. I got three development deals for features from Hollywood mm -hmm. because it was a very popular film. So it wasn't, it's not unusual in our world. Mm -hmm. I mean, we made films outside the system. We made films, she made films that nobody inside whatever you call the film system then, mm -hmm. which would mostly be television, would have made the film, mm -hmm. nor would they make the kinds of things she was interested in doing and covered. So it's, um, it's unfortunately, it was not unusual. But Barbara's led a really, really great career. Mm -hmm. And Barbara has really been kind of a trail blazer for all of us. She was for me. Mm -hmm. I remember sitting there watching her in 76 and saying, oh, that's great. You know, I can yeah. do that too. And um, and what's wonderful about her is she she's also really continued mm -hmm. her career. Yes. Now Harlan County is probably going to go down as is in some respects the most famous film that she made, mm -hmm. but she has continued to make really really good films. You know, and also what's happened with her going from being the Independent World Foundation funded, um, <coughs> you know getting as many people to work for you for free as, as you could, yes. which we all did, um, into basically a world where many, much more funding is now coming from all the various TV outlets, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's Ofra's channel or whether it's HBO or whether it's CNN and now Netflix. We have a whole arena that's completely changed. Mm -hmm. so, so she's continued to be productive working within the various ways you get things funded and and to this day to mm -hmm. this day so she's been probably of anyone from my generation mm -hmm. she's probably had i would call the most successful career uh -huh. of any documentarian over that length of time it's yes really unusual well uh, we're going to be talking about your film next i'm very excited don't go away coming up next wonderful documentary produced and directed by my co-host tonight connie field This 